all right then welcome back everyone that's all this question balance round i hope you have read the question once uh, but uh, let me just quickly read it out for you so you are author of a code forces round and we have prepared n problems and what you want is uh, every problem like what they've given is for every problem i you have a difficulty ai so you have you're basically given an array a of n integers and that is also positive integers we'll do the following process remove some or possibly zero problems from the list and rearrange the remaining problems in any order you wish and around is considered balance if and only if the absolute difference between any two consecutive problems is at most k basically less than equals to k right so what you want to do is uh, we are given a basically an array and we want to uh, we can what we can do is we have two things at our hand either remove some elements from it and you can rearrange it but what we want finally is the in the array the difference between any two consecutive elements is less than equals to k so that's the problem right the problem is simple remove some elements from the array and rearrange it such that the difference between two consecutive elements is less than equals to k so that is a simple problem and what you have to return is the minimum number of problems we will remove so that the arrangement of problem is balanced so what does it mean for the arrangement of problems to be balanced difference between two consecutive elements is less than equals to k so that's the problem and we have to find out the minimum number of problems okay fine so the constraints are given uh, now you can see the constraints the constraints are uh, okay, n is 2 into 10 to the power 5 and so sum of n over all distances does not exceed 2 into 10 to the power 5 so maybe somewhere it gives you idea you can sort you can sort the array fine and uh, i guess we can store everything into an integer so nothing complicated there and for each test case, we have to print a single integer. The minimum number of problems you have to remove so the arrangement of problem is balanced. And right? the question you got it. So remove some elements and rearrange the array such that the difference between two consecutive elements is less than equals to k. And just return me how many elements you remove. Right? And this has to be minimum. That's important. Okay. So I guess the question is clear. Uh, let's uh, examine the example test cases. Okay. Because that's usually what the first thing you do, right? Okay. So here are the test cases I've taken from the code forces itself. Uh, because more often than not, uh, if it is an A or B question, you know, uh, it's all about observations, right? So Let's just see, uh, like more often than not, you can get the answer from the observation from the example test cases itself. So this, I guess, this is one of those uh, questions in which from looking at the example test cases, you'll be able to figure out the solution. Okay. So these are the test cases I've taken from the code forces only. So first things first, uh, do you agree with me that uh, before doing anything, since you are allowed to rearrange the array, we just sort it, like just to make it more amenable, right? Otherwise, if I don't sort the array, uh, keeping track of the difference between two consecutive elements less than equals to k would be a little bit uh, problematic, right? I wouldn't be able to... Uh, the array won't be basically, array would be difficult to analyze if I don't sort the array, right? And the constraints also, you saw that n is not going beyond 2 into 10 power 5. So, sorting the array is the straightforward thing that you should do in this question, right? Uh, because you are allowed to do, you are allowed to do. So, if you are allowed to do sorting, just do it. You might get some something out of it, okay? So, that's why I'm doing it. Fine. So, here the first test case I have taken. So, anyway, the array is sorted here only 1, 2, 4, 5, 6. And what they want is the difference between two consecutive elements should not exceed 1. Okay, fine. Let's see. So, 1, 2. So, is the difference less than equals to 1? Yeah, the difference is less than equals to 1. No issues here. Now, let's go ahead. 2, 4. Is the difference less than equals to 1? No. The difference is not less than equals to 1. So, yeah, maybe there is some sort of breaking here. Uh, basically, we cannot include. Uh, so, we, either we can have problems like this or problems, I don't know about after 4, what can we do? But we cannot include 4 into this problem set. Either we can have problem 1 and 2 uh, because the difference between uh, every two problems here is less than equals to 1. Uh, but I definitely cannot have 4, 5, 6 with this 1, 2. Right? Because in this segment, uh, the difference between two consecutive elements is less than equals to k. So I can either have it, but uh, once I start including four, these two are not allowed. Okay, so this is like one of the possible problem set. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just trying to look at uh, what are the possible problem uh, sets if I sort the array. Okay, don't worry, you'll get it. Uh, uh, keep going. So okay, fine. So we are at four now. Uh, now let's see this segment. Is the difference less than equals to k? No, oh, yes, it is less than equals to k. Fine. So no issues. Come here. Is the difference less than equals to k? Yes. Fine. So this can also be included. So what you got is uh, you can either have this set of problems or this set of problems, uh, then either have this set of problems, this set of problems, such a way the difference between any two consecutive problems will be less than equals to k, right? Will be less than equals to k. So which one would you take? Of course, you want the you want the largest possible uh, problem set, right? Why? Because you want you want to remove as less elements as possible, right? That's why. Okay, guys. So just uh, let's just see the second example here. So here only you only have one element. So there's only one element, uh, there is no other element to check. So anyway, you don't have to remove any element, right? Uh, the problem set is already balanced. So yeah, fine. Let's take the third example here. I guess this example will create a lot of doubts. So let me just uh, sort the array first. Uh, so let me just write down the elements. 1, 3, 5. Then I guess we have 12 two times. 12, 12, 17, 17, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Fine. So this is done. So let's just start from the first element. Is the difference between these two guys at most 3? So k is 3 here, right? k is 3. Is the difference at most 3? Yes, fine. Is the difference at most 3? Yes, fine. Is the difference at most 3? No. So fine. Uh, the thing is, this problem set is balanced. Okay. 
this problem set is balanced by including 12 you cannot you will basically the problem set won't be balanced so fine either uh, you remove all of them or uh, remove all of them and take this guy so this is a balanced problem set or let's just uh, go ahead so is the difference between these two are less than equals to k yes is the difference between less than equals to k no so fine we have to break here again so what it says is uh, this is a balanced problem set this is a balanced problem set so if you want to have this balanced problem set you have to remove all of them and that's what it is saying okay let's move ahead one more time uh, you will you'll understand it don't worry this is a simple observation so is the difference between these two are less than equals to 3 yes is the difference between these two are less than equals to 3 yes okay so this is again a balanced problem set so basically what we found out is this is a balanced problem set this is a balanced problem set this is a balanced problem set so what is the balanced problem set uh, difference between two consecutive problems so the difficulty is less than equals to k okay uh, so basically the difference between any two consecutive problems is less than equals to 3 that's why okay so what you want is uh, the question says give me the minimum number of problems you have to remove so the arrangement of problem is balanced okay so in this question uh, like in this example i found out like these are the three balanced problem sets so how can you remove minimum number of uh, problems like just can you tell me how are you going to remove the minimum number of problems simply right uh, just take the balanced problem set with maximum number of problems so either take this or this and remove the rest of them right so if i just take this problem set without loss of generality i have to remove these two guys right so what did we do okay what did we do here we figured out the size of the maximum problem set basically size of the maximum we found out the maximum size problem set that is the longest run the longest run such that the property was being followed that is difference between two consecutive elements is less than equals to k if we found out that we found out the longest run of elements so i'll write here i'll take one more example don't worry uh, find the longest run find the longest run of elements find the longest run of elements satisfying the property what is the property the property is difference between two consecutive elements is less than equals to k satisfying the property okay so if that size is let's say l then what is like uh, then what is our answer what are the elements that we have to remove the answer would be if this is the maximum sized uh, segment which is following the property the elements that you remove is n minus l right so like it directly follows from the fact that this will be the minimum number right so this will be the minimum number this directly follows from the fact that since you have the maximum segment which follows the property n minus l basically all the elements apart from it will the minimum number of elements that you have to remove so that you get a balanced problem set fine so let's just take one more example uh, you'll get it don't worry we are still not getting it so let's just take the last example okay 8 3 1 4 5 7 10 okay so let me just arrange them so first is 1 First is one, then uh, we have one, then three two times, right? So one three three, one three three, then four, then uh, five, then seven, then eight, and ten. I guess there are eight elements here, right? One two three four five six seven eight fine. And the maximum difference uh, that you can allow is k equals to one. Okay, let's see. Is the difference between the, these two guys uh, less than equals to k? No. So this can be a balanced problem set. Is the difference between these two guys uh, less than equals to k? Yes. Fine. Is the difference between these two guys less than equals to k? Yes. Is the difference between these two guys less than equals to k? Yes. Fine. Is the difference between these two guys less than equals to k? No. So this is another balanced problem set you have, right? Three, three, four, five. Fine. Uh, let's uh, move ahead. So is the difference between these two guys less than equals to k? Yes. Is the difference between these two guys less than equals to k? No. So basically, these are the balanced problem sets you have, right? So. to minimize the number of problems that you want to remove just pick the one just pick the largest problem set uh, which is balanced and remove the remaining elements right right because in the end what what do you want the problem set that you have the difference between two consecutive elements has to be less than equals to k uh, difference between less, uh, between two consecutive elements has to be less than equal to k of course pick the largest segment which satisfy this property and remove rest of the elements right so the largest segment here the largest segment if i want to write the size of l is 4 so the l is 4 and you have to remove all the other elements so the total elements were 8 8 minus 4 4 is answer right and you will see the 4 here Four is indeed the answer here, right? I hope you got it. Uh, similarly, this example, if you want to see, it will be one, five, ten. What is the largest segment which satisfies the property? Uh, basically, the difference between two elements less than equals to four. This segment, right? That's why the answer would be uh, three minus two, one. And you will see why the answer is one here, right? Okay. Just uh, for sake of completion, uh, let's just see this example as well. So two, three, eight, ten, and nineteen. Fine. So the k value uh, is here three. Is the difference between these two guys less than equals to three? Yes. Is the difference between these two guys less than equals to three? No. Fine. So, is the difference between these two guys less than equals to three? Yes. And again, the difference is not less than equals to three. Fine. So, what is the largest segment you have? Size two, right? So, with that loss of generality, I can pick any one of them. So, I pick the largest segment which satisfies the property, and I remove the rest of the elements, right? Why have to remove the rest of the elements? Uh, we cannot keep them, right? <laughs> the property is not followed there. Fine. So, here the answer would be what? Uh, answer would be five minus two, three, right? Three is the answer. 
Fine, I hope you got it. Uh, let's just uh, quickly code it up. Okay, guys, uh, let's uh, quickly code it up. So, I've taken the input here, uh, n and k and the array. So, first things first, uh, we need to sort the array, right? So, I'll just sort the array. Sort error dot begin error dot end. So, sorted the array. Now, what do I need to find? I, find? I need to find the maximum run which satisfies the property, the maximum uh, size basically to satisfy the property, right? So, maybe I can initialize that L to a uh, minus one, right? A very small value. I can also initialize, like, the smallest uh, run which satisfies the property will be a si array of size one. So, yeah, maybe let's say array of size one. And what I can do is uh, I can also initialize a counter uh, which keeps track of uh, the current size, the current size. So what I can do is I can go through the entire sorted array, i equals to zero, i less than n, i plus plus. And uh, if I can start from first guy, right? I can start from first guy. If array of i, if uh, array of i minus, if array of i minus, array of i minus one, array of i minus one. Basically, uh, I'm just checking whether the property is followed or not. Is uh, less than equals to k is less than equals to k so the property is followed here i'll just uh, increment the counter i'll just increment the counter so i'm initializing the counter to one if you see uh, because you know uh, we are starting from uh, so our array looks something like this right a1 a2 a3 a4 so what i'm doing is i am assuming that uh, initially my segment size is one and now i'll try to increment it depending on what is uh, the value of a2 a3 a4 so forth, right so initially uh, the maximum size here at this point uh, is still one right now i'm gonna check if the property is being followed increment the size okay otherwise Otherwise, restart the size to one. Okay, and after every increment, what I can do is I can maybe update L maximum of count and L. Right. So what I'm doing is uh, I'm going through each and every element. I'm starting from the basically uh, second guy, right? If i equals one means I'm starting with the second guy, and I'm gonna try to increment the count of the segment. So basically, if the property is followed here, count will be incremented. If the property is followed here, count will be incremented. If the property is not followed here, count will be again made to one. And after incrementing or resetting the count, whatever, I'm just trying to update my size of the maximum segment which follows this property. Right. So pretty straightforward stuff here. And uh, after the for loop, what do I have to return? What do I have to return? I have to return n minus n, right? So I found out the maximum segment which satisfies this property and I'm just gonna remove uh, rest of the elements. And uh, now my problem set is balanced, right? So these are the minimum number of problems that you have to remove so that your problem set is balanced, okay? Because I have decided to keep the segment with the maximum number of elements, fine? So let's just uh, quickly run it. So 2050314 should come, let's just quickly run it. Okay, there is an error here. Uh, okay, I forgot <laughs> to write the semicolon here. Fine, this happens. Fine, so maybe you can just uh, remove this um, and then run it. Yeah, 205034, uh, I hope it works. Uh, let me just quickly submit it. It works. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any doubts, uh, please let me know in the comments. The time complexity will be here anyway and login. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.